We got your red shirt freshman starting center, Matt Freeman, right here. Matt, uh, we t I ran a blog post about that beard. So tell me about it, what started it, and uh, was it Zach that started the whole thing about yes, it? Yes, sir. It was uh, Zach came in, you know, freshman year with that big, gnarly beard, and you know, I decided, you know, he's right beside me. Why not grow mine out? So how long, how much growth do you have right there? I got about two, two and a half months in it. Okay. Are you gonna let it go throughout the season? Oh yeah, for sure. So, uh, you know, we spoke a little bit earlier about it, but what was it like learning from Stephen Kenny? Definitely a great experience learning from Kenny. A great leader. He he was uh, very very knowledgeable about football. He was very football smart, and it was just great uh, learning from him because he was very outspoken and uh, very easy to learn from. Now you got a chance to do something not a lot of people get to do. Start for four years. I mean, you how much responsibility does that put on you to be successful as a starting center? I feel like it's a lot of responsibility, but I feel these coaches and these older guys around me feel like I feel like they trust me and that uh, that they uh, believe that I'll get the job done. What have you specifically improved in your game? Do you think to create you know your opportunity to become a starting center for this football team? Well, definitely, I had to get my weight up. I came in pretty small, but finally got my weight up. Where are you at right now? I'm about 290, and uh, we're just, I came in, and I was pretty quiet about, I'm not very good at leading. I was kind of just a follower, but learning from Kenny, he told me to be outspoken and uh, tell, tell everybody what to do, how to do it, and just be a leader. Matt, we were talking not too long ago about the strength of this O line. You're saying, what were those numbers again? God, we got. I'm sure everybody on the offensive line squats over, squat six or over, and is a 400 pound bench presser. And I hear you have the school record in the incline bench press, right? Uh, yeah, I just got my school record broke by Mr. Uh, Jamie Head. You know, he got 455 on that incline. What did you have before? I had it. I had 425, and I just bumped it up 10 pounds. So I'm trying to catch him. How strong is this O line for this team? I definitely say this is the strongest O line. From last year to this year, it's definitely a great improvement. We've made huge jumps from uh, the off season and spring ball and everything. And finally, how's the D line looking? I know that you guys go against them a little bit every day in practice. Yeah. We got some monsters on that defensive line. You know, Deshaun Williams, Blake, Kamu, Darius Hood. They're all great athletes. Very strong, low center of gravity. It's hard to get them boys moving. Last question, what can uh, some Bobcat fans be looking forward to for this season? I, I expect big things for this football team, you know. We're going in first year FBS football. You know, we're bowl eligible. You know, we're going to we're going to do our best and get them get that stadium full this year. Thank you.